If this is your first time visiting, my name is Morgan. Welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. So today I am going to be showing you our ocean unit study items. So that's anything from books to games to flashcards to everything that we have for that, okay? So I want to show you guys this unit study that we are about to start next week. So excited. Okay, so what we will be using is the Gather Around um, Homeschool Oceans unit. So what I did was purchase the digital version um, and I got all ages. So they have um, pre-readers, lower elementary, upper elementary, uh, middle school, and high school. And so I just did a download and I printed this off and I went to um, FedEx and had it spiral bound. So that is how we ended up with this. There is also a teacher's manual here and it um, comes with 20 lessons and if you guys want me to do a flip through or review on this um, just comment below and I will do so but so far as I've been planning the materials that I've gotten I absolutely love it and I'm super super excited my middle baby no my oldest daughter picked oceans so we are going to tackle oceans first when we start next week um so yeah okay so i have tons of books and tons of resources i probably overdid it but i definitely want to keep the life and the energy into this unit study so i made sure to collect as many books as i possibly could and add in as much variety as possible so one way when i do um, unit studies is i have different types of books that I get. So one is reference books. So they give you information, obviously, for your children. The other ones are storybooks. Um, and then I try to add in activity books. So maybe that's a sticker book or a dot to dot book, things like that. Okay. So I'm just going to start and show you what I have. I'm so excited. Okay. So the first one is In My Ocean, and this is for my tot. And it's really cool. So it goes through like this. I'm not going to be able to show you guys all the details. I would be here totally forever for every book because like I said, I have a ton. But this is a really, really good book um, so far. And she loves it already because I haven't been able to like hide everything. But this will be a good book for her. And then I did the Hello World series. This one is called Ocean Life. Um, it is a board book. And it just goes through. Here's a couple of the pages in there. So excited about that. This was a book that we already had at home. It's Hello Duck. I know it's not ocean related, but she loves it and I'm adding it in. <laughs> so um, it's very similar to the first one, just a different storyline. So we added that. And I'm going to do my very best to link every single one of these books down below, you guys. This one is a panoramic pop-up. It's an ocean book. You know how I love pop-ups. If you have not seen my um, Costco book haul, go check it out because there are some amazing pop-ups in there. So this one and then I have so many books you guys sharks this is in the um, DK series there are nine books in here we have a book on sharks this is old we've had it at home forever but it's a step three um, step into reading book it is also in sharks I found this um, incredible sea creatures at um, Target in the dollar section so it was one dollar I found a Step Into Reading for the Titanic. Um, this one I did over and under the pond. No, it's not ocean related, but it's water related and we're going to read it. <laughs> so this one found a Sea Life book and I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. So that was a good find. And of course, we have Ocean Anatomy, which all things ocean, this is a awesome, awesome reference book. If you do not have it, you need to get it. Anything ocean related is in this book. It is awesome. And then we also have Nature Anatomy. So Nature Anatomy is another great reference book. Obviously, same author and everything on these, okay? Um, this one also has a section on the ocean in it as well. Um, in the different animals, um, ocean life 
in here I'm trying to find the page but so we are using this one as a really good reference too but it also goes through trees and leaves and animals and everything so these books are awesome for pretty much any subject matter that you can think of there's even space stuff in this book you guys so if you don't add any books to your library these books are great they have another one in the series too that I can't remember the name of it at this moment, but. Okay, so the books that I'm about to show you now were given to us um, from our neighbor like five or six years ago when we moved into the house. And so I'm like, they are coming in handy, which my girls have picked them up to read them on several occasions, but they have been awesome. So this is a Scholastic book and it is The Truth About Dangerous Sea Creatures. So we're gonna be using that. Um, is a dolphin a fish. These are Q&A books and my girls absolutely love them because what it does is it gives you a question and it gives you the answer. So um, let's see this one. It says, do da dolphins travel far? And then it gives you the answer to that question. So really excited about that one. This one is the friendly dolphins. Another Q&A book, um, this is Scholastic. Do whales have belly buttons? that all right and then i have this one it is called save the ocean obviously it's about conservation and things that we can do to help the environment um, particularly with ocean issues so i'm excited about that and this one is was also on my costco book haul that i did last week so go check out that video but this is the big green busy book it has tons of lessons in here on ocean conservation um, and being resourceful and helping to not pollute our environment. So we are going to use this book as well. Okay, and with every lesson, um, every unit study, every lesson we do, I always incorporate Bible and I always incorporate African American black history or black history, whichever you want to phrase that. Um, so here, for our Bible, we have Inside Noah's Ark. And then we have The Vast Wonder of the World, biologist Ernest Everest. Just super excited about this book. Um, it's really, really nice. I'm just gonna show you guys some of the graphics in here. It's a really, really awesome book. So do that. And then, so these are some of our bigger books that I've got. Um, my hands on. <laughs> this one is a Smithsonian and it is a sticker creations under the sea book. Super excited about this. I actually found this um, for like three dollars at a store called Ollie's that we have here in the city and I am super excited. The girls have loved it so far. So here and it has this 3D portion and then over here it has the sticker book and it basically goes through and asks different questions. There's a lot of stickers but it asks different questions um, about the different species in the ocean. And then you have to go back to the back and find the sticker that correlates with that description. So really fun book. Um, and going through the Gather Around Homeschool Oceans Unit, I have gone through and just kind of page, um, put pages or page numbers, excuse me, on the um, sea life that we will be studying so that we go to that page and we sticker that page and that'll be like our activity for that lesson for the day. Okay, I absolutely love this book, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is called Amazing Earth Oceans. Now, I tried to find this book over a month ago and I was not able to. I could not find it online, anywhere to purchase or anything. And I went back to Costco a couple of weeks ago and it was there. It was the only one. I said, this book was meant for me. <laughs> so it's really, really cool. So here it has, and it, this is a blue ringed octopus. And what I absolutely love about it, it's an activity book, it gives you information obviously, but then it has this. So what the girls will do is they will take these pieces out and they will get to build their own octopus. So exciting. And it has five of these in here. So I'm gonna show you all of them. It has the blue ringed octopus, it has one for a, hold on, that's one for a whale shark. Um, it has another one for a deep sea anglefish. 
Okay. And, ooh, another one for a sea otter. And the last one is a leatherback turtle. Here we go. So, we will add this in for our activities. Um, I have not gone through this book yet to have it correspond with the lessons just yet, but as I do, I will tap these and this will be part of our activities for that lesson for the day. I'm almost done. Y'all hang in there. <laughs> so another book that we absolutely had to get was the Big, Big, Big Book of Blue. <laughs> All those Bs threw me off. Um, but the Big Book of Blue, this is a really good reference book. My girls have already been in it thus far, but pictures are absolutely amazing. Super, super good on the illustrations. Um, and it gives tons of information. So I have had this one it has already been tabbed to correspond with our lessons um and then another one that i found is seas and oceans an animated atlas so in this book it gives you the ocean so over here we're at the arctic ocean and then it tells you what animals um and sea life live in the arctic ocean so super excited about that one as well really cool book Okay, so now going on to more activities for the unit study, I picked up this 100 piece puzzle and it is ocean animals. So we have that, that will be an activity that we do. My girls absolutely love puzzles, so that's gonna be great for us. And then I made a trip to Dollar Tree and I just went absolutely crazy, but my girls love the color. So I have this laser art kit to fish that's what the back of it looks like. All these are a dollar. I have a couple of these drawing art. And then I have a sticky string activity book. And I bought one for each of my daughters. So it has like dot to dot, color by numbers, things like that. I have three of those. And I found another one. I was only able to find one of these, so we'll have to tear the pages out and share. But it is Ocean Life and it's sharks. And I found these really cool art framers, which create your own framed artwork, drawing, painting, doodling, and coloring. And they're super cute. And all of this is from the dollar store, but they're super cute. So we will use this for our art. And I bought just two of those. That's all they had. And then I also found this, it's in the wood shop area. It is a sailboat. So my girls are gonna put together a little wooden sailboat. So that is awesome. I think I am done, you guys. Um, oh wait, just kidding. <laughs> so I have um, Mad Libs Shark Attack. That will go with our unit. And then I have Professor Noggin's A Life in the Ocean card game. So we'll do that. And our read aloud book will be Zoe and Sassafras, Mirror Horses and Bubbles. So we will do that. And I am also, I've also downloaded um, the digital version of Moby Dick. So I will be reading that as part of our read aloud as well. I may make this one an independent reading book for my oldest daughter. We'll see how that goes. But I think, now I think I'm done really this time. I am. So tons and tons of books. Like I said, I am going to link everything below. I am super excited to start this unit study. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We have so many activities planned um, and I will document all of that and I will share it with all of you in hopes that if you do this unit study, that it gives you ideas. So if you have any additional ideas or book suggestions for this unit study, please comment below. I would love to add to our Ocean Unit Study Library. So until next time, I hope that you like this video, share it with others and subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys next time. Next time. Bye.